You need to stop using Skags in Google Ads. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that is single keyword ad groups. For many years, our single keyword ad group structure was the core key to success in Google Ads. And the reason for that is because you could have one individual keyword in your individual ad groups and then you could really, really quickly turn off underperforming keyword themes. And it was also great for really making sure that you had a high level of ad relevancy. So you're able to adjust your ad copy for different keywords and also send users through to the best performing landing pages and the most relevant landing pages from their initial keyword search. That's why everyone, myself included, really used that single keyword ad group strategy for many, many years. But unfortunately, because of the changes that Google Ads has made, that is now dead. But the good news is, is that you can switch over your Skags to Stags. And what I mean by that is that you're using the same strategy, but rather than ad groups based around single keywords, you've got ad groups based around single keyword themes. And the reason for why that's so important is because Google has changed the keyword targeting. And because Google has changed the way that the keyword targeting works, it means that we have to change how we structure our Google Ads campaigns. Now, what we're gonna do very, very soon is we're gonna jump into a screen share so that I can take you through not only what has changed, but how you have to change your strategy. But one thing that has not changed in Google Ads, and that is that if you wanna see success with your Google Ads campaigns, especially your search campaigns, you need to have a structure of how you optimize your campaigns. What I mean by that is that you need to know exactly what you need to complete in all of your different optimization actions. But further than that, you need to know whether you need to complete those actions every week, every month, or every 90 days. And if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, so you know exactly how to optimize all of your Google Ads search campaigns, I want you to follow that link in the description below. Now, as promised right now, let's jump into a screen share so that I can take you through the different changes and also how you need to change how you're structuring your Google search campaigns. Let's go. All right, so what I want you to focus on here is this section in here, and this is where it's talking about the different keyword match types. Now, one thing that hasn't changed is that Google still does offer the three options of broad match, phrase match, and exact match. But what has changed is that rather than targeting the keywords in those phrases, Google targets the meaning or how they're related to those keywords. So broad match is pretty much as to what it has always been as the name suggests, it's very, very broad. Whereas where the real changes have been is that within phrase match and exact match, phrase match, it used to have to include the words that you had targeted, but it could be in any order. So if you had the keyword in this example of furniture store, if someone had a typed store furniture or furniture stores or furniture stores near me, that would trigger your ads. Whereas for exact match, it used to be that it had to actually appear not only those words, but also in that order. Whereas you can see here now with this exact match, it can even do things like furniture store and change it over to something like home furnishing shop. And this is where the change has been is because previously you would have had those in two different ad groups, whereas now you need to have them in the same ad group. Let me show you a real clear example. What I'm showing you here, this is a campaign that I've had running for many, many years now. It was initially launched in 2010 and this was to target our one bedroom villas in Samanyak. And you can see that we had four different ad groups. We're all within a single keyword ad group. So we had the one bedroom Samanyak villa then one bedroom spelt out that way. Then we also had private villa and also private pool villa. But with this new one keyword theme method, we put everything into the same ad group. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take it a step further. So I think a lot of people get this concept and they understand that they need to group some of those keywords together. And the reason for that is because with the new targeting, any one of these keywords would trigger for the other search terms. So all of these ad groups are required. The way that you set this up correctly in this one keyword theme method is that you need to make sure that you're using dynamic keyword insertion. And the reason for why that's so important because you still wanna make sure that within your ads, regardless of whether the person searches one bedroom Seminyak Villa or one bedroom private villa, you wanna make sure that they're seeing that keyword or a really close variant in their ad copy because it gives them a much better chance that they're gonna click on your ad. And the way that you do this, and I'm gonna show you this example in here, is that you use dynamic keyword insertion. Now, to use dynamic keyword insertion, 
all you need to do is you need to add in the squiggly bracket or I think it's called the brace. And when you enter that, that brings in this option for the keyword insertion. So you can see that we've got it up through here. And you can see from here, these are all the different keywords that we've got targeted up through here. And if we just scroll through these options, you can see that if anyone was to search sensory headphones for autism, they would see that in our headline. Or if they search noise canceling headphones sensory, they would see that in the headline. And that's the great way that you can couple your single keyword theme together. And by using dynamic keyword insertion, it's a way that you can still maintain high keyword relevancy from the user's search term. So rather than using those single keyword ad groups, make sure you upgrade them to your single theme ad groups. And to get the full effect, what you also need to do is you need to also use that dynamic keyword insertion in your ad copy so that way you can make sure that the user is seeing the keyword or a very, very close variation of the keyword they searched in your ad headline to make sure that you're keeping that high level of relevancy from the user's search term to your ad copy and then also to the landing page they're going through to. Thank you for joining me. It's been my absolute pleasure having you here. Remember, if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, just follow that link in the description below. My name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And if you wanna learn more about how to write ad copy that actually converts in 2024, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, see you next time.